This is much bigger than just three countries getting together. This is a new example of cooperation in a world that desperately needs such examples. Today we've got a terrific story, a brand new story of this strategic alliance among three countries, all democratic countries, all anchors in the eastern Mediterranean, who are working together on many, many levels and proving that things can change for the better. This alliance is taking off now, and so it's forward-looking, it's future-seeking, and it's in the United States' interest, um, foreign policy, domestic as well, to have friends get along together. And so now that we have friends and friendly relationships established between Israel, Greece, Cyprus, um, and now looking to bring in the United States to that, it's in the United States' interest, but it's also in the interest of Jewish Americans and Greek Americans to have all of these friendly nations with democratic values um, getting along and pushing forward the same agenda in this very tumultuous region. You have a strategic partnership and it starts with, and the real tipping point was energy diplomacy, something very important to the U.S. The U.S. Uh, is trying to wean some of its European allies off a of dependency on Russian gas and major developments, uh, major finds, first in Israel, uh, then in Cyprus, now in Egypt, more in Cyprus, more in Israel, uh, give you for the first time, especially when we're talking about the gas in Israel and Cyprus, natural resources in the region being controlled by Western democracies. The relationship even on energy is not simply about we're, we're going to drill here and we're going to take the gas out here and it belongs uh, to this country. It is about setting up systems of communications. It's about setting up legal frameworks. It's about doing search and rescue missions together. These search and rescue missions now have turned into civil defense missions to security missions together, and people are talking. People who did not talk before are talking, and they're also helping each other. Counterterrorism uh, cooperation. Uh, we've, we have a, a region that's falling apart. Um, we have terrorism on the Mediterranean. And if you think about another key moment in this relationship in the alliance was the, the arrest of a Hezbollah operative in Cyprus. Um, and it was the first conviction uh, of a Hezbollah operative in a European country as a terrorist. And that led to Hezbollah being uh, classified in the European Union as a terrorist organization. Security, uh, you know, you, you look at uh, the bases in Cyprus uh, that the British and French run airplanes uh, take off from to hit ISIL. Uh, every day. Uh, you have Suda Bay, you have uh, Iron Dome. So, you know, when I, whenever you're talking about the fight against terrorism, uh, the ability to make uh, Europe less dependent on Russian um, gas, or the forward presence of Western security interests, it's happening because of Israel, Greece, and Cyprus. So one of the elephants in the room in any such discussion about Greece, Cyprus, and Israel is the fact that Cyprus, now in its 43rd year, is a divided island because Turkish forces um, invaded Cyprus in 1974 and ever since have occupied. You do not have smooth NATO-EU military cooperation right now because Turkey is in NATO and Cyprus is in the EU and they won't talk to each other, right? It's critical for the EU and NATO to be uh, cooperating on a security front. We need to, to move this, this so-called frozen conflict into an unfrozen conflict, bring peace to the island, bring reunification, and let's all move on and prosper together. The elements among Cyprus, Greece, and Israel could one day contribute to another ambitious and successful peace project. You're also seeing new faces and a new generation of people um, in America, Jewish Americans, Hellenic Americans, meaning Greek Americans and Cypriot Americans, coming together and really caring about these issues and trying to get them out there. We don't have the same faces going to Capitol Hill, um, but we have this next generation coming out. If I really want to look into the distance, and we need some big-time visionary thinking, 
What, what's happening now among Israel, Greece, and Cyprus could extend to Egypt one day. Um, it could extend to, uh, to Jordan.